Today I wanted to share a flip through of my new personal journal. I haven't used the journal yet. I haven't been doing any journaling the past couple of weeks. I've just been a bit busy and I did want to film a flip through of this before I start using it. But I'm really eager to start working in here so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like before I start. So this journal was a part of the last journal collection that I made and sold. I shared a video of the entire collection previously if you haven't seen it yet. I did some other journals very similar to this one, but this was the one I ended up keeping for myself. This collection of journals was very much inspired by this old journal of mine. This is of course another one that I've made and I've used this one so it's very very full. As you can see it's full of memories and journaling and photos and stuff like that. But I wanted to recreate this kind of feel so for this journal I use some vintage linens. It's a soft cover flexible journal with a window cutout. So for this one, I kept it very plain and simple on the outside, lots of white space. But with this collection, I included more embroideries and more vintage fabrics and just collaged them all over the cover. I made the dimensions of these journals the same as this one. So it measures about just over seven inches wide by just over nine inches tall. And then the spine at the moment is two inches wide. This journal has the same dimensions. But as you can see, once you chunk it up, it has a lot of room to grow and it's become thicker than two inches wide and it's been able to hold a lot of papers and photos and stuff. This journal is extremely heavy now that it's finished and I know that this journal and all of the journals in the collection have the same capability of becoming that thick and chunky and I'm really excited to see that eventually. So I'll just give you a quick close up of the cover. It just has all these different fabrics and embroidery is collaged together. I just had a lot of fun creating different layouts with the different fabrics on all of the different journal covers. And ultimately this is the one I ended up keeping, but it was very, very hard to choose between them. For the dangles on this one, I did a lot of pinks. Then there's some little silver and gold beads. Kept it very simple. But these kind of charms, you can easily add extra charms to. So if there's anything I want to add to it later, I can easily do that. This journal also has some tabs already attached to the page. So a lot of them are embroidery fabrics or little vintage trims. And then I've also included some fun things like, like this little photo slide and some little sale tags and stuff like that. So as always, I've kept it pretty simple on the inside. The pages are really fun because I've included my favorite types of pages and my favorite pages that I've been collecting and hoarding but there's not a whole lot of pockets and stuff. There are some pockets, but I haven't gone crazy with adding things because I like to do that as I journal. I like to leave myself room for creativity later on, depending on what I'm journaling. On the inside of the journal cover, I just lined it with this vintage wallpaper. And that's the same with all of the other journals that were in this collection as well. So they were all made the same way. For this journal, I absolutely love this little image, which peeks through the window. And instead of cutting it down and having it sit in the window, I kept it as a full size page and just stapled it across the top. So it peeks through. And then because it's just stapled, you can just lift it up. You can see the illustration on the back and you can also do some journaling underneath. So I'm excited because this journal is a little bit smaller than my last journal. I always like to try different sizes. So if I work on something big, then I like to change it up and try something a little bit smaller. And then usually like after I work in something a little bit smaller, my next journal, I want to go big again and just try different sizes just to keep my creativity flowing. So these pages are quite a bit smaller than the last journal that I was working in. So here is the little photo slide tab and it actually is a photo. Let me see if I can show you. It's actually a really sweet little picture of a group of kids. I don't know if my phone's making that worse or better to see, but it's a really sweet little picture included as a tab. And then inside I've just got a mixture of pages. So some children's book pages, some plain craft paper, some ledger paper, and then these are from a pattern book, a vintage pattern book that I included in all of the journals. Just some really nice paper and beautiful little fabric trims. So the pages themselves, like I said, there's not a lot of pockets and stuff going on. It's just beautiful papers that I've put all together to give me this nice feel as you flick through. There's a lot of interest on the pages, even though I haven't added a bunch of stuff. So playing cards as tabs. 
this beautiful little book page that I've been hoarding. It has this kind of felt effect on the page. So the bear is actually a little bit fuzzy. So cute. And then I just added that as a little pocket on the page. And then just some of my favorite scrapbook papers. So some that I've just been kind of hoarding scraps of. And then some of my favorite paper collections, like the different craft consortium paper pads that were a collaboration with Claire Therese. I absolutely love her illustrations. So this one with little chooks and ducks and birds and then just various papers. So book pages. I love including book pages. It always just gives it such a fun, playful vibe. This is Tomoe River paper. So it's kind of thin, but it's kind of nice to have that different texture and that little bit of interest. Just more scrapbook papers that I've been hoarding and those little price sale tickets. These are vintage little price tickets that make cute tabs. More vintage ledger paper, that one's a fold out. And then this is a little tuck spot on the side of the page. This piece is the cover of a vintage sheet music book that I've just been keeping for so long because I love the graphics on it. So I decided to finally put this into this journal. I've probably had this sitting in my collection for the past like three or four personal journals that I've filled up and I just haven't used it yet. But I felt like it went really well inside this journal. So I decided to use that up. And then more papers that I've just been keeping. There's a little pocket there. I just think it's nice when you're making a journal for yourself to include papers that you really personally love and things that inspire you. So you don't have to go crazy with adding pockets and making it really interesting and detailed inside if you don't want to. If you just include papers that you really love to look at, I feel like that is enough to really inspire you when you're journaling. And like I said before, I like to leave myself that room to get creative. So if I add a lot of pockets and stuff before I actually journal, then it kind of limits me creatively with what I can do on that page. So I like to leave it kind of simple just for myself. In this book, there's a lot of kind of fair or carousel imagery. So I like that feel as well, it's very fun. I've included lots of little book pages and vintage ledger papers, and then just scrapbook papers as well. Again, some of my favorite papers. Just really simple, but really pretty. I find every page really nice to look at, and I'm really excited to start filling this journal up. That's another music page book cover. Just has really cute images on it. And then getting towards the back, this is a little craft envelope or Tomoe River paper and then just some scrapbook paper. And then the back, just like the front, has the wallpaper lining in it and it's just simple. I haven't glued anything on there or anything yet. So that is my new personal journal. I'm going to do some journaling in here and I'll probably be sharing a journal with me really, really soon. I'm really excited to fill this journal up and start to play around with some of these beautiful papers inside and do a bunch of catch up journaling as well. If you have any questions about the journal or anything you would like to know, you can just leave them in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video.